I like motocross could be a good example. Let's move this over here. Make it smaller. All right, I'm trying to use this connection thing on these to here, to there, to there. This one's fixed. This one I want to be physics, so not fixed. This one also physics and not fixed. And then maybe like move these over here. Uh, ideally, these would just like fall freeform, but we'll see. Second object will turn in its place. Um, and then maybe we can just, yeah, here we go. Just give it some numbers here. Just, you know, fuck with it, see what's up. Yeah. See if that does anything. Oh, cool. So it totally does. Yeah, let's, let's do it again. Yeah, this is cool. But can I? Run into it. No. Let's move it down. Well, let's keep going. Nope, I need to get speed. Uh, I, I don't really know how to control <laughs> control this one. Um, yeah. Alright, let's move these guys down. And I don't think. It, oops. There. Okay. Ooh, look at that. So if I can just skip this. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Cool. So we made connections. Um, cool. Yeah, so we made connections and, you know, I think it's probably super easy to like make or bring one of these in and then you know kind of make it look like they're connected somehow oh yeah that's no can you, yeah no i don't know i was trying to think of how to make like a physical line that you could see but let's let's just keep moving forward Objects, objects. I feel like that's good. This is like not good. That's good. Objects can be created. See, drag and drop new items. Okay, yeah. So, so let's go to Illustrated Art Pack, objects. Let's, let's do a different game. Play around with these different ones. Uh, fall switch. Wait, is that the one? I don't think I like this one. So maybe that's why it's a good practice. Oh, I think this one's okay. Okay, so... What, we have objects. Does this have enemy objects? Yeah, so um, how do I create? Let's do let's do some bombs. So add a bomb. Object. Boom. Turn the connections off and turn this off. This, I wish I knew what this meant. Oh, I think if the player character hits this red line, then they die. This is gonna be slow. A slow death. Mm, that was cool. All right. Um, 
yeah, that's, I mean, I just want to do some simple stuff with this because it, it literally, literally takes three seconds to add a background. So let's add a background. Like, I don't care if it's Candyland or whatever. Stretch this. Yeah, like, there we go. Yeah. Not here to judge backgrounds. Oh, but you know what they scroll up, right? So will this, will this scroll, scroll up? Damn it, I just want to pick a background, but now I think this isn't going to work. Uh, portrait. Full parallax item. Those are cool. That looks cool too. Mm, that's beautiful. But we're going non, going up and down. We need an up and down view. What about ocean? What do you got? What do you got, ocean? Yeah, that's that's ocean. That's also ocean. I wonder if I could just take this background and put it on its side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And then what speed? Just make it to two. Yeah, perfect. I like the little crab with the eyes, you see that? It kinda makes me feel bad when I eat crabs. Okay, um, what do we got? We got a bomb. Let's make him an enemy. Okay, oh, my dude can't jump, so that might be difficult. Well, I could just put him over here in the corner and then like make this go back so you have to um, plan your moving better. Just copy him. Yeah. And then, see, this would be cool. Wait, X, Y. This would be cool if it... Well, so it's going to make him move in a direction, but then once he goes in that direction, we're going to need a transform or a path, I think maybe transform and make the enemy go back where he came. Uh, rotation modified, yeah, sure, negative one. Here, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just messing around. What I, what I want to do is have it so when the bomb, if he's moving, which, uh, once he hits that, goes back in the other direction, which also makes me realize that I'm going to need to put this on the other side as well. But first, let's see if what I'm doing is actually even correct, because uh, I have no idea. You know, it's kind of fun not having an idea, or at least that is what I'm telling myself. <laughs> Too much truth. Oh, shit. Uh, no, I get collision ship editor. I want this bomb stuff. Late, oh man, what did I do? Page 72, no, I'm on like 20. Jeez. Slow down. Okay, um, I feel like this will give him an X axis. Let's just, let's just see what happens. Oh, do I have a guy? Yeah, so he's not even moving. But if I touch him, I'll, <laughs> I guess I won't die. Just not come over, okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's something there.
I don't uh, see anything. So interesting. Oh, if we said wheel, no enemy. Did did I do that? Did I, did I make it a wheel? Linear velocity modifier. So. Maybe I have to give this a bigger number. Ah, you know what? This guy does actually need to be facing the other way. No, that didn't do it. So it's not rotation. I think it's maybe scale. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so then the scale Should be positive. Oh shit. Slow down, son. But this did not do anything. Oh, enemy. Perfect. Effect up. Uh, place. Multiply add. Yeah, let's go with add. So I don't want it to change it. I just want it to scale modifier positive. That's fine. I think linear velocity is what we want to change. Linear velocity modifier. So this is positive, so x. I think so. I think if I just put negative, no, negative one. Close. I mean, it didn't do anything. Let's get you closer. Okay, let's go back at it. Let's see. Angular effect enemy. Object type fix. No, we don't want physics. What's A1? I feel like that is something I. Oh, that's. Ooh! You're, you're a bomb, and you're, so you were not categorized as an enemy. So your collision type, yeah, and your collision types all. Who did this, Who or who didn't do this? Yeah, you gotta set up this stuff. I'm gonna make it smaller, cause I like to, I like to give, cause I'm a, cause I'm a giver. I like your physics. Enemy, enemy, enemy. Hmm. Uh, oh, this affects, okay, sure, whatever. So I wasn't selecting the right um, Object because I guess the object had a different name. What? What? Where did that guy go? He just walked off the edge. What? What are you doing? 
Oh, maybe he moves super fast. Okay, this affects the bomb. Bomb. Oh wait, but you didn't move last time, and I feel like maybe because you're in, it put you up, 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 up. Um, X. This is the X axis. This is positive, and this is negative. Moving in a positive X. Whereas in bomb number two should be moving in a negative, which is probably why he fell off. Maybe I don't. We don't know. So they both fell off, so maybe I'm just getting these mixed positives. Maybe that is a negative. And let's take a look. Uh, let's just take a look. Yeah! No. Oh. I think it. Oh, it does plus or minus from 10. Okay, so I got it. I figured it out. So the way this works is you have to set a base of value. And then it'll go, oops, uh, space bar. Then it will go 10 or minus off of that. So I think this is positive. And this is negative. Go negative 10. And then we're just going to add 10. And then that's, I think this is it. I think we're, I think we're good. I mean, we're good to the point where the transition transform did not work. Um, transform affected asset is bomb. You're a bomb. I, I do feel like we're close. Wait, let's grab this background lock. I don't like. You're on the negative posi no, position, so you're negative scale. So this should be a negative mm -hmm. one. One, one. So I don't think this matters. Yeah, so this is good. It's just not. I mean, honestly, I don't want it to be 10. I want it to be kind of the negative velocity of what it was. But I'll take it just for the testing purposes. Oh, oh almost. It looked like it almost did it. Take a look here. Come on. Yeah, perfect. Oh, so that did do it. That one worked. That one did not work. Turn this off. I'm almost certain it has something to do with uh, how much negative linear velocity it is. I wish I could put like negative x. And then x would be whatever the current velocity is and then switch it. Okay, let's just keep moving. Okay, where are we objects? Custom components, damage, take a look at this. Sub objects, object instances. Okay. So now you have defined your object. You may be wondering where most of the settings are and how to have different versions of the same object. Sub objects are where we do this. You can create a sub object by clicking and dragging an object from the bar on the left to the scene. Did that. Um, preset, list of standard object types. These are quick base only. Once you select your preset, you can change all the settings. Nothing restricts you. Platform, 
Hold up. Excuse me. Try to. Wanna see if I can open two of these. Yeah, okay, cool. What page are we on? 25? Okay. See, physics object is for an object that you want to obey the laws of the game. That makes sense. Enemy is the enemy, enemy bullet. Character bullet decoration is used for scenery, it affects nothing. These all make sense. Wheel, as it sounds, used for wheels, including wheels attached to the character. That's the interesting one to have there. I guess there's just a lot of demand for wheels. Um, just mainly for attachments. So that's good to know. Okay, cool. How the objects move, object type fixed. Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. Transform. I mean, nothing, nothing like, ooh, this all makes sense. Movement, linear velocity, okay. Object starting speed and direction. Zero is not moving at all. So when I was changing the linear velocity in the modifier, this is changing it into the negative direction, but is, as I stated before, not necessarily what this was, what the bomb uh, was in, because that one has a range. Random factor. Oh, maybe this is random. No, I feel like this is X and Y. And I'm going to talk about the random factor. We're talking about this. Uh, angular velocity and random factor value in degrees per second that the object will rotate about its pivot point. Positive values are clockwise. Random factor is an amount between, yeah, but what, what, where is that like, what is that for? Is that for an object? Like if I grab this object, can I look at a random factor? Collision, no collide. Collide makes sense. Destroy types. No destroy. Destroy character. Destroy enemy. Destroy all. Um, sub object component. To access this, press the add component at the bottom. And you get wake up and spawner. Yeah, these. Uh, I don't know if you've seen some of the tutorials. Totally, totally watch them. I think I've watched. I, not not all of them, but a lot of them. And so Line of Zen is a really cool example because you'll see like a big object. like a, It looks like one big uh, green square, but it has a, a wake-up spawner. And there's actually little tiny squares in the big square. And when the character gets close within a certain amount of pixels, each object has a random generator that shoots it somewhere. So you have this big square and then it just goes Psh! pretty cool. Uh, so it's, I think a really great use of the wake up, wake up um, one. And sleep is where it just goes to sleep. Spawn action, spawn rate, some good examples in that. Um, a spawn action. Uh, actions are mostly configured from the parent in the object bar to the left. So this. Name. No, maybe it's for characters. I don't, I don't know where this is. 
actions are mostly configured from the parent to the object bar to the left. Oh, so like this. So these, I think. I don't see actions, like, am I just missing it? Oh, right here, there's a whole section for it. But it's not highlighted, actions are the most configured from the parent and the object. How do I, how do I adjust it? Uh, maybe select a new game, and that game will have the have action, have some actions. <laughs>